Hi, everybody. Well, I just wanted to make a little video about uh, one way to not install radiant floor heating. Um, what I did here was I used orange oxygen barrier PEX tubing that I bought from Home Depot. I got a 300 foot roll and installed it in my house. And I used an idea where I ran one length of tubing down each joist bay. So I did it in a loop style where I went down. You can see here's the incoming line goes to the end of the house. I ran one down the first bay and then I looped over. There's my loop where I drilled through the joist. So I looped over and then I came back through the second bay. And then down in the second bay, again, I drilled through, crossed over into the third bay, and then ran down that joist bay, and then crossed over, came down again. So you see the pattern that I did. Um, but I found two main errors in doing this kind of installation. Uh, the number one error is uh, it, you definitely need to have more than just one length of pipe per bay. Uh, most of what I found uh, recommends uh, at least two and you see I only did one. So I'm going to have to modify that in this install. Uh, the second error that I made was uh, I did not mount these up to the floor. So let me move the camera. And you can see what I did is I just, it's just kind of suspended here in the joist bay. It's not actually anchored. So the theory behind this kind of an install is that the PEX tube, you know, it gets hot, warms up, and then it will radiate heat and warm the air in the joist cavity, which will then rise up, warm the floor, and then rise up and warm the room above. Uh, but in reality, that's not what happens. The heat in the PEX tube does warm the air around it, but it dissipates so fast into the cold air in the basement, it doesn't do anything to warm the floor above. So I'm going to end up pulling all this PEX out, and I'm going to redo it in a loop back, a crossover loop back pattern, uh, similar to what I've done over in this part of the house. So this is definitely a trial, trial and error, trial and error install that I did. But what you see here is I came in, it's a different color, this is red, red oxygen barrier PEX tubing. So I came in here on the left and ran down that joist bay, made a loop at that end, and then came back. And then at this end, I did my crossovers, you know, drilled holes through the joists and did crossovers at this side. And then down at the other end, did the loop backs. So uh, also with this setup, you can see I installed aluminum plates and they're omega shaped plates. So they actually, the PEX tubing snaps into it. You see it kind of uh, wraps right around the tube. And I got two different sizes. I got two foot longs and four foot longs uh, just because they fit in my joist bays better. I couldn't fit two four foot sections and two foot sections would be kind of silly to run a whole bunch of two footers. So I did fours, a gap, and then twos. And I find that this, uh, this configuration works a lot better at warming the floor above. Uh, when I did some temperature testing between the two sections of flooring, uh, I'd basically walk around and find, uh, using my infrared thermometer, and find that this floor here would sit at about you know, 64 degrees or so. And then when I went over here to this floor, 
which has no radiant heat. Uh, it's also 64 degrees, so that's telling me that this is not, this is not warming the floor above at all. Uh, but when I went through this room that has this setup, uh, in some spots the temperature was 78 degrees. So it doesn't sound like much, but 14 degree difference in temperature uh, is uh, quite significant. So um, I'm going to do some modifications and improvements to this setup here. And when I do, I'll do another video to update it. And when I get my system configuration more squared away, I'll also put another video up on how I actually built the water heater section. So in the meantime, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching.